Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to Friday's Maths lesson. First of all, we're going to go through some of the answers from yesterday. You had quite a lot to cover with challenging practice, problem solving, and then those review and revision questions. I'm not going to go through them all because there are a lot of questions. However, if you pause the video as we go through the sheets, you can check your answers. If there were any that you were struggling with, um, hopefully seeing the answers and the proper solution to them may help you work out um, where you were going wrong or what was causing you to stumble on that question. If you still aren't sure, please go onto the Purple Mash blog. You can leave a question about any of these. No one else in your class will be able to see it. All questions and points are, are private on the blog. So the only people that will see them are your teacher. And if you leave a question on there, one of us will come back and go through something with you. So please do, if you find something difficult or you just couldn't understand what it was asking you, anything at all, please do go on there and ask a question. I will go through a couple of examples. Um, so the first question in challenging practice I want to talk to you about because it highlights the importance of making sure that you read every single piece of information in a question. So some bottles of shampoo are on special offer. Peter's aunt needs to buy six bottles for her hairdresser salon. How much does she spend? And then we have a picture over here with the bottles of shampoo. They cost £5.60 each. But we also have a little additional piece of information down here. And the special offer is that if you buy two, you get one free. So when we're working out the cost of six bottles, this piece of information is vital. Um, because we're buying three, we get one. Sorry, if we're buying three, we pay for two, but we get one of them free. So the cost of three bottles is actually the price of two. So three bottles is £5.60 plus £5.60, which totals £11.20. Therefore, six bottles is two lots of £11.20, which is £22.40. And this really highlights the importance of remembering to read all the specific information. Because this is a typical question where in our books in school, we would see somebody had worked out six bottles so they would have multiplied £5.60 times six. They may have got that calculation correct but their answer to the question is wrong because they haven't read this one little piece of information down here. So this is a great example. Read everything. Read the question twice. Read it three times if you're not sure and I would say that with all of the word problems that you carry out. Read them and read them again. Um, so let's have a look at some of the other word problems in the book. If you pause the video as we go through, um, then you can check your answers. The math journal this time was um, you were given an example of a word problem and you had to write the steps to work out the answer. And then in the same way, another word problem and you had to write out the steps. Really like the rules for working out the word problem. So hopefully you manage that one okay. And then um, you had a question here where you had to spot the mistake or decide whether what the mistake that Peter had made. Now, as usual, we would expect you to answer each of the questions. And then if we see this word explain and write one or two lines, then you've got to work out where Peter has gone wrong. So he's made a mistake while subtracting. Did he make a mistake in subtracting the pence? 25 pence take away 40 pence. Well, we know that we would have had to um, regroup one pound so that we had 125 pence take away 40 pence and that would leave us with 85 pence. Did he make a mistake in subtracting the pounds? If we had regrouped one of these pounds, that would mean that we had four pounds in this column. So has he made a mistake in subtracting the pounds? Yes because he has forgotten that the regrouping was done and he's subtracted eight pounds from 15 rather than 14. And then we have the explanation of the mistake that he made. Peter forgot the regrouping that was done. Um, we've got some word problems with bar models and hopefully you were able to see that it was a comparison bar model that you needed to do and that this was a two-step word problem. And then we had some of the revision questions where we were adding amounts of money.
and some multiple choice questions. Oh, there seems to be a measure one in here. I'm not quite sure how that's ended up in there, but hopefully you were able to argue, answer that. We're doing measure next week. And so that comes to the end of the questions. So as I say, check your answers and let us know if you had any problems. And on to today's lesson. So today marks the end of our money unit. Um, and I thought we could finish it off with a Friday challenge. Now on the following slides, you will see that there are lots of pictures of food items and the price of each item is beneath it. What you, I would like you to do today is to plan a healthy menu for a family of four. I'd like you to plan a starter, a main course and a dessert. So you will need to make sure that you have enough um, for four portions. Um, and then you're going to use the shop to purchase the ingredients and work out the cost of your meal. Um, you will need to take things into consideration, um, such as have you bought enough ingredients for, to feed four people? So I'm going to show you some of the examples from the shop. You can see that we've got sausages, chicken breast, lots of other meats. We've got pasta and breads, tuna, lots of jars and fruit cheese, um, we've got fruit and vegetables, pasta, and I think we've got some more fruit, we've got some desserts here. And the way I would like you to do it, you'll have some of these sheets um, at the end, so you might want to have a chat with your siblings or your grown-ups and discuss what your three-course meal would be. But say, for example, um, I was going to do a prawn salad for my starter. So in here, I would write prawn salad. So I would need prawns for my ingredients. I would need some lettuce. And I would need some tomatoes. And then you would do the same for your main course and your dessert and any drinks that you're going to have. We then need to go to the next sheet to work out the running cost of our menu. So the food item, prawns. I go to the shop and I find the prawns. And I look at the packet of prawns and I think, okay, it's £2.79 for one packet. Are there going to be enough prawns in there for a family of four? Now, Mr. Murray really likes prawns, so he'll want a nice, big, healthy portion. So I think I'm going to need two packets of prawns. So they are £2.79 per packet. But I'm going to buy two packets. So the cost of the two items, and I'm going to do some workings over here, £2.79 plus £2.79. You might need to have some more scrap paper to help you do your workings. Um, is £5.58. So the cost of both of those items is £5.58. And so far, I have spent £5.58. I also need some lettuce to go with my prawn salad. So again, I'm going to go to the shop. And I can see that one lettuce is 55 pence. I think that looks like quite a good size of lettuce. So I'm only going to buy one lettuce. And that was 55 pence. So the cost of the items is still 55 pence. And now I'm going to add the 55 pence onto the £5.58. So again, you might be able to do that mentally. Or you might want to do that as a column addition again. I'm just going to check my answers by doing it in a column addition. So now my running total is £6.13. So I can score that one out because I'm up to £6.13 and so on. Um, so by the time you have written everything that you need for your meal, you will have a total cost at the end in this column. What Now, some things to consider. I would like you to see how inventive you can be with your meal. Who will come up with the tastiest meal? Who will manage to come up with a really nice, tasty, inventive 
three course dinner for four people and be have the cheapest price. Uh, you could imagine that you are on a budget and you've not got to go above a certain amount. You could do some challenges for yourself like that. You might want to plan for some vegetarians. You might have someone really fussy and you might have to do two different starters and two different main courses. You might have someone who has allergies. You can think of lots of different scenarios. It would be fantastic if you could post them onto the Purple Mash blog so we can see all the exciting menus. If you decide that you're going to cook that menu for your family, you could um, show us some pictures of the real, the real um, meal. Um, whatever you do, please have fun doing it. You might decide that you're going to take your mum to the shops with you and get her to help you do this. Um, that's absolutely fine. And as I say, please put it on Purple Mash if you can. We look forward to seeing what you come up with. Well done for all your hard work this week and we look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Bye-bye.